This is Logan and just got a quick tip for you in Unreal Engine, how to attach static mesh accessories to your character. Back running around with the Cyber Samurai created by Fajul Farak. We're going to jump into our previous project and let's get it started. In the last tutorial we took all of the skeletal meshes and merged them into one mesh so that it moved around as a single animation. In this tutorial we'll be adding his sword, sheath and gun to the character. Navigate into the mesh folder inside of your character and go ahead and open up the skeletal mesh blueprint. Hips, hands, shoulders, uh, clavicles are typical places that you might want to add a socket for an item to attach to. When you find the specific joint that you want to attach a socket to, scroll down to it in the skeleton tree, right click and then select add socket. I'm adding sockets to both hands as well as both clavicles and one on the spine. Once you have all the sockets selected that you'd like to add, hit save, then navigate into your third person blueprint folder. Inside there, open up the third person blueprint. Once inside the blueprint, navigate to the viewport, then open up a second content browser so you can select the accessories you'd like to put inside. Selecting the gun, sword, and sheath, and dragging them to be a child of the main mesh. Once the accessories are dragged as a child under the main mesh, they'll be sitting in the middle of the scene. I'm going to first focus on the sword and the sheath, so I'm going to hide the gun. To do this, I'm going to select the gun in the components panel, then we'll go over to the right hand side on the details, scroll down, under rendering, deselect visible. To place the static meshes, we'll make sure the main mesh is not moving. Select the main mesh, go over to the details panel, under animation, show advanced properties, tick pause. I find it to be easier to place static meshes on other meshes while setting the camera speed to 1 so that you have a more precise control over the movement of the camera. Under the components panel, select the mesh that you'd like to attach to a socket. Go over to the right hand side under details. Under the transform properties, you'll see a header called sockets. Select the magnifying glass and pick the socket you'd like to parent the item to. I've parented both the katana and the sheath to the left clavicle and you can see that they both jumped position and they're floating in the air. I'm going to manually position the sword exactly where I want it, behind the backpack, tilted at a 45 degree angle approximately. Once I'm happy with the placement of the katana, I'm going to copy its location and rotation properties and paste them under the sheath. You'll then see that the sheath snaps into place perfectly in line with the sword. Hit Compile and Save, and let's test it out. Before we can get it to work properly, we need to go back into our blueprint, select our mesh, and reactivate the animation. Before we see him running around a scene, I'm going to add a second sword into his right hand, and his assault rifle into his left hand. A little bit unrealistic, but it'll be fun to see him carrying all of his tools at once. So here you have the sword inside the sheath pinned to the left clavicle as its socket. In his left hand we have his assault rifle in his left hand socket. In the right hand we have his second katana in the right hand socket. Let's run around and see how it looks. Accessorization complete. I hope you like this quick tip and if you want to find out more about it then I highly suggest you go and search for setting up and using sockets with static meshes inside of the Unreal Engine documentation. I'll leave the link to this website in the description. Thanks for watching.